Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. Um, excuse this bare face. I just got home from work and I was like, oh my god, I need to get this video up. I was running late, so I didn't do makeup. Anyway, blase, blase, yada, yada, yada. This is me 97% of the time. Anyway, um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm like, I've got something brewing in my throat right here. So, anywho, uh, as you can tell from the title below, this video is on makeup palettes that YouTube made me buy. Like, if I literally did a video on just stuff that YouTube made me buy, y'all, we would be here forever. So, I have decided to just strictly stick to makeup palettes. Um, a coworker and I are like makeup hoarders and we are YouTube lovers. And so we're pretty much bad for each other. Uh, it, do <laughs> it really doesn't help that like we love some of the same brands. And so we just kind of like feed off of each other. We get the same emails from Sephora and Ulta and it's just like, oh, did you see this? Did you see this? So between her and YouTube, I just, here's my money, makeup companies, just here, take it all, like that's how I feel. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get started. Um, the first things that I want to talk about are all, and I do mean all, all four of the Naked palettes by Urban Decay. Um, to be honest with you, I, I have not used any of them as much as I should have, seeing as these bad boys are like over $50, uh, but, you know, and I knew, after I bought the first one, before I bought the second one, I knew, yo, you don't even use the first one like that, but I bought the second one anyway, because I think it was Jackie Aina who was talking about how, um, it was a good one. Don't quote me, but I believe so. And then Naked 3 came out and everyone was talking about how like the rose golds are so beautiful on deeper skin tones and how they just really compliment women of color. So I was like, Psh, I gotta run out and get the Naked 3 palette. And then when the Smoky palette came out, I was like, what? Yeah, I don't have a Smoky palette. I need a Smoky palette and I love the Naked series. I love the Naked series, but I barely use these, and I probably only use this one like twice. So, that's that. Are they good? These are good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. They're good quality, but I just, I should probably like take this one, this Naked 3 back to Macy's and get my money back. Like, that's just how I feel at this point. Um, the next one... It's the Urban Decay Vice Palettes. I believe it's two, three, and four. Um, I saw, oh my God, what is her name? I want to say it's Tamara. Anyway, I'll be sure to link every video or YouTuber that I reference in the description box below. I saw her do a tutorial with this Vice to palette and I was just like girl Urban Decay puts out some good quality stuff you need to get that and then like three and four just kind of followed because I had two so it was like well why not get it since you've already got one so more waste of money thank you Urban Decay and again like those are good palettes they are excellent quality wonderful payoff just I don't use them like that if at all um the next one is the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette so I remember when I got this I was searching high and low almost two years ago <laughs> 
I wanted this so bad because I saw so many just natural and neutral eye tutorials with this and how it's beautiful they're all matte and the pigment is wonderful and it's great for everyday makeup looks and I was just like yes that's what I need mind you I have all of the nakeds but this is what I need I needed an all matte everyday makeup look palette um so I got this one and I used this bad boy I used it for about three months straight every day for work um and then I relocated and decided that I wasn't going to wake up early anymore to do my makeup. So I stopped. But this is a really good palette. Like, really good. I do love this one. And the purchase of this one actually led to me buying Kat Von D's Metal Max palette and her the Pastel Golf palette. So, good looking, Kat. Good looking. Um, the next one, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Um, the semi-sweet and the original. Again, I bought these because they smell like chocolate and they're so brown girl friendly and look at all these neutrals and why does it look like one of my shadows has like caught something? Look at this. Y'all see that? It looks like it caught something. Anyway, so... I bought this because it's not like I didn't have the naked palettes. Um, so I for darn sure didn't need another neutral palette, but I bought them. And then I ended up buying the Bon Bon's palette because I had these. So I figured why not? And I got the Sweet Peach palette, which again, more things I don't use. Like <laughs> Uh, I'm going to find out how much each one of these palettes retail for and I'm going to put it in the title and it is going to be called how I wasted X amount of dollars <laughs> um, and then next uh, are two BH cosmetics palettes these were a big deal for me you know um, the first one is the party girl palette I love this one because it was a perfect travel palette. Um, it had some neutrals and it had some shimmers, it had some mattes, some colors. So this was perfect for literally being the party girl. Like, oh, you're going to Vegas with the girls for the weekend? Just take this palette because it has every color range that you would need to make your eye makeup fine. And I mean fire, but F I apostrophe E. Fi. Um, and then the next one by BH Cosmetics is the Day and Night palette. Um, and I bought both of these because of Nini Tane, who at the time was known as. Like, it was something like Beauty on a Budget or something. She she changed her name recently, but I had been following her prior to her name change. And she was like a stand for BH Cosmetics. And so, you know, their makeup was reasonably priced. And I was just like, yeah, why not? But this is the Day and Night palette. Again, more beautiful colors. Is it that much different from the Party Girl palette? Absolutely not, but... I had to have them both, so I got them both. Um, and then up next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artiste Palette. I got this only because of YouTube. Um, I remember when ABH was doing the Tamana Palette or something like that. And so, like, it was a series of palettes that had dropped either together or, like, back to back to back. And I missed out on all of them. And every YouTuber was talking about them. And so, when this palette came out and I saw a YouTuber uh, talk about it, I can't remember which one. Um, I was like, oh, yes, I have to get my hands on it. I refuse to let another ABH palette slip through my hands. And so I got this and it opened the door to just ABHness. So I got this one. I got the self-made one, the Modern Renaissance, 
the Master Palette by Mario. Um, I think those are the only ABH palettes that I have. But yeah, this one was the start of it all. And because the payoff is excellent, it's really, really pigmented. It's great. I love it. And so because of that, I do continue to buy ABH palettes when they drop. To me. And the BH Cosmetics ones, they're good too. They're really good. Um, and then lastly, wow, I did not realize that I would get to get through this so quickly. Lastly would be Morphe palettes. So let me tell you how molded I am, right? So one of these palettes was in my, I have like a, a cart that I keep my makeup in. And so that's where some of my makeup is. So that's where one of these palettes was and then this other palette was in the cabinet with a bunch of other makeup products and so I had pulled this one out first and then when I saw this one I was like Morphe what the heck am I doing with a Morphe palette in here and I was like if this is 35 oh I'm gonna be pissed off because I have two of them so that's how molded I am that's how much I don't use these I didn't even know that I had two Morphe palettes um the first one which I truly 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 and honestly only got because of the hype on YouTube is the 35O. Is it worth the hype? Mm, maybe to some, but not to me. Not at all to me, actually. There are so many of these shadows that I haven't even touched yet. So that's that one. And then the very first one that I got um, which again should have been a sign that I didn't need the 35O because I barely touched it is the 35W palette. Um, and this one, I only used four shadows. Five! I used five. Five shadows. That is just amazing. So, yeah. That concludes my palettes of things that YouTube made me buy. Hmm. So sad. Anyway, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe so that you can be tuned in, alerted, notified, put up on game when I upload another video. And comment down below. Let me know some of the things that YouTube made you buy. Because I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.